Yeah, well, my good friends, Roger Mud Fossil University. Just a couple quick questions for geologists. I look around on Google Earth, and here's what I saw. And I'm wondering why this looks like a gigantic fish, first of all, right there. I, I mean, it does look like a gigantic fish. And then his fin is up here. Um, but, I mean, it does look like a fish. And then is it being attacked by a gigantic dragon right up here? And, um, you know, that's his head, and they have that funny looking nose, and it's spitting out all of this stuff here that looks like uh, snake venom. I've uh, researched this pretty good, and uh, it's, uh, it's just like snake venom, and it's coming out of what looks like a dragon's throat. Now, I'm wondering, and also, I've researched, uh, you know, coroner reports and so forth, and this is the runoff uh, of a dead, decaying uh, creature's body, and red and black like that is the colors of... Uh, of uh, red-blooded creatures and uh, this dragon has a uh, well let's take it let's just stop and take a look at it you know if you could explain it I'd just like to hear it because I can't explain it there's his head and that's his neck going all the way down now this is his throat of course and they have that flashy looking stuff you see on dragons and and they have that funny looking fuzzy big fluffy nose you know they do they don't have a pointed nose or anything now Let's look at the dragon scales. Very interesting. You know, unless you have some kind of geological reason for all of these particular... I mean, they, they look like dragon scales, so you're going to have to somehow come up with a better explanation as to what you see here. And, and they, you know, I looked at them carefully. This, th these plates, you see how they're separated? That gives you flexibility of the dragon's throat. And... Um, and it runs uh, almost a thousand miles. This is a huge, huge creature. It starts there, it runs all the way down. And I did a literal autopsy on it. I went all the way through its organs and everything. It's, a, uh, uh, it's an avian creature and it has a cloaca. And the people are living right in the guano here back in the end where the cloaca is. I looked in, I, you, you can dig around here, you can find it. But if they're right in the guano, that's where things grow. And it continues on the whole dragon. If it's a dragon, I'm just thinking it looks like a dragon to me. And then, of course, the dragon's tail ends up being at the other end. So, and that's a pretty good long dragon there. You know, also, um, well, never mind. We'll just go with that for now. If you could please answer me those questions. That's what I'd like to hear about. All right, thank you.